Welcome back. I guess you could call this part two of this Lavender Persuasion built. Uh, like I told you before, it's a 1957 Buick is what we started out with. I bought in Ohio and uh, built the car in Phoenix with a large team of guys that worked on this car. Uh, they all did a great job, uh, but I'll tell you about some details with the car. Under the hood, it's got a 350 Chevy with an automatic transmission. Forgot what the rear end was, it's been so many years. Uh, the interior was beautiful. It was two-tone, it had a console in it that had, was painted. It was one of the first consoles I knew of that was actually painted. And it really, I mean, it made you want to get in the car. It was really cool, came out great. And uh, then we got the paint in the body. Uh, we chopped the top three inches, uh, jag headlight rings, Packer taillights, uh, opened up the character line in the rear quarter there to enhance it more, bring your eye to it. Uh, rounded the corners up in front and then in the rear. And, uh, you know, we drove a lot. A lot of miles were put on this car. Uh, we debuted it at Oakland in 92. Uh, I kept it for two years and then I sold this to some friends. It's in a collection in Allentown, Pennsylvania. And uh, the car, I seen the car last week. It's holding up great. It could still go back to Oakland and do well. Although it's not open anymore, it's the Grand National Roadster Show. Regardless, the car still looks stunning. Uh, I drove it, it felt good, it felt as good, maybe even a little better today than it did back then. And uh, it was fun, great memories. Uh, the windshield was the worst part of this build. The car went smooth until it came to cutting the windshield. Uh, we went through seven or eight windshields. I believe it was the eighth windshield that we got cut that didn't crack or break. And back then, these windshields were stamped. They had a little label on them saying made in South Africa. And they were only like 250 bucks. But in 1990, 250 bucks was like 500 bucks today. And uh, it added up. The most important thing is we finally got the windshield cut and we were able to show it, people got to see it. And uh, I sent it down the road to another, to another couple, somebody else to uh, take care of it for a while. Uh, it's in the collection. Uh, it's a private collection, so it can't be seen. I had this great portrait of it that was done back in the 90s. And uh, I thought I'd share it with you. So stay tuned. I'm gonna share some other cars with you in future videos and uh, that's it for now. Thanks for tuning in and stay safe.